In this video, guys, we're gonna look at free productivity tools for traders. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to your eyes. So something a little bit different from the markets, but something that helps us out as traders. A lot of these that I use and also some that I know that other people use as well. These are all free tools. There are some premium versions to it, but these are tools that potentially you could look at and they might help you with some of your productivity, like your trade planning, your trade reviews, your trade communication, your alerts, etc. So let's have a look at them and I'll explain to you what they all do. So in the first one, guys, is Trello. So Trello is really a project management tool. That's what it's designed for. And it's got boards and cards and lists. And you can drag these boards and cards and lists around, go and play around with it, it's trello.com. And really, it's a kind of really good way of putting lots of things in. The ideal one for traders is a journaling. So you can put Monday, and then you can put literally your screenshot of your trades. You can put your comments in, you can split your trades out, you can drag them around, Tuesday, etc. You can have a board for your trading goals, your trading rules, your trading plan. You can drag rules in and out. A very a nice, easy way of doing it. Uh, also, with Trader, you put on. You can have a mobile app as well. So if you're out and about, and you want to say, "Oh, I want to, I want to kind of review that. I want to think about this as a trade idea." You can put it in and obviously sync uh, straight to your computer, or whatever. You just log in via an app or via a desktop version. So check out Trello, guys. It's a really good free. It's free for what we need it for. If you've got big teams of people and stuff, then they're premium plans, but. Uh, you won't need that. Slack, another one you might have heard of Slack. Uh, this is good for if you're trading in a team. Personally, I don't use it for, for trading purposes. I like to trade kind of focus myself, but I know others uh, like to share ideas and thoughts and stuff, and Slack's a good way of doing it. It's kind of a little bit like Skype, but more for groups and splits into channels as well. And it's also good, it integrates later on, we'll talk about Zapier uh, for alerts and bits and pieces. So useful tool to have if you need to communicate with others uh, from a trading perspective and also uh, for alerts, but we'll look at that in a second. Okay, Google Sheets, obvious one, free though, don't need Excel. Google Sheets does most of the things we need. Good for analyzing the markets, downloading market data, working out kind of your ranges and bits and pieces and doing analytics on the market and also analytics as well on your own trades, like performance, you know, when you're trading well, when you're trading poorly, you know, obvious PL stuff, uh, drawdown stops, all the stuff that you, you like to do, very sort of simple calculations. You don't need Excel for it. Unless you're going crazy, Google Sheets does the job and Google Sheets hooks into some of these other things in a minute which we'll talk about. Um, so Zapier. Now Zapier um, is an interesting one. I use this a lot actually for various different things. And what it does, it basically connects two different apps and allows them to talk to each other without having any code. It's literally a drag and drop kind of obvious logic thing. So for example, you could have something that if you haven't got an app that alerts you to a key level or a fill on your broker, for example, most of the time your broker will send you an email. Okay, so you can open a Gmail account and it works with Gmail. And you basically say to Zapier, when I get an email that has the subject line of this or from this person, do this. So for example, if you have an order filled, for example, I wonder if you've got an order filled, you're out and about, you've got a limit and a stop in, you don't get notified because your broker hasn't got an app and you want to know if you've been filled, what you can do is the broker will, you can obviously sometimes you can set it up where the broker will send you an email for your fills. If not, you can call them to do this. Um, and then, Zapier goes, hey, when an email hits my inbox from the broker and says this, then do something else. And that other thing could be send a message to Slack to say order filled. And then you can have Slack on your phone and have it set to alert. And that means that you haven't got to have all your emails on alert and constantly looking at your emails, which is what you'd have to do normally. You can literally have everything muted apart from the alerts from Slack and the Slack will come up and go, oh, right. Oh, I've been filled, or oh, a level's been hit. You can have an alert that's set with your broker and send you an email out. Uh, and then again, same kind of thing. You're just filtering based on the subjects of the content. And Zapier goes, right, when that happens, do this. And that thing would be to send to your alerts channel in Slack, a little message to say, uh, and again, you can, put, you can pass the variables through. So let's say Dow crossing 27,000. Dow has crossed 27,000, or whatever it may be. So you can immediately see, without having to log into your account, having to do anything extra, what's happened if you need that. It's also useful for a non-trading perspective, guys, just quickly, for emails. You know, I use it loads for emails. I don't like notifications pinging off all the time on my phone, uh, you know, always buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. So I have no notifications for emails. But when there's an important email I want to be aware of and alerted to, then I will tell Zapier to scan my inbox for that email, for from that person, and send me an alert to Slack. Now, Slack is allowed to come through and send me a notification because I know that 
on certain things on Slack, it's important. Like it's an important email I've been waiting for. It's a price level I've been waiting for. It's a message from someone I've been waiting for. So it's a really good way of kind of outside the trading arena, guys, filtering out all the notifications and noise and connecting it to multiple things. You know, and you can do also do things like, um, you know, when you get uh, a message through, let's say you get a message through saying your order's been filled, that can also not only send you an email, uh, send you a message on Slack, it can also add you a card in Trello. So it can add a new card in Trello and say trade done, and you can do all sorts of stuff with it. It can add a, 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 a row in Google Sheets. So you can start to export them with a little bit of work, not too much as well, uh, into kind of a, a Google Sheets from your order filled coming through from the basic thing like Gmail. So there's loads, thousands and thousands and thousands of things that can bolt into each other. So it's super, super uh, useful that for, for kind of doing various different tasks. And the final thing is something called Stickies. I might have changed the name of it, um, but it's basically a virtual post-it note, uh, a little bit of a, 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 an interesting one. Post-it notes used to annoy me everywhere. I've got these post-it notes up uh, and actually they're okay. Sometimes I do go back to physical post-it notes, but it's also got a little app. I think it's called Stickies. It is on a Mac anyway. And it's like a virtual post-it note. You write your little note on, so for example, you go, okay, if the market holds above this level, I'm looking for long or whatever. And you can just kind of Put it up in your screen and you can move it around just as if it was a post-it note. And I appreciate you can draw on charts and appreciate all this, but sometimes a little note to remind you of something, um, it, it's, it, you know what a post-it note is, it's the same kind of thing, but it just takes up a little bit of real estate, screen real estate. That's the only downside to it, as a post-it note wouldn't, but of course you can delete it, you can move it, uh, you can put it to the back or whatever. So it's a little thing that I, I, I quite like to use uh, and might help you out uh, as well. Anyway guys, there's some useful tools, Trello, Slack, Google Sheets of course, Zapier as well to check out if you're into all that kind of stuff uh, kind of eliminate some of the noise in your life uh, it's a good one that all right guys take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye